welcome back. Today I've had a bit of a rubbish day so I've decided to cheer myself up a bit and show you something that makes me very happy. My pet snail. I love my snail a lot more than I thought I would since I first got him. I do like snails anyway but I thought that it might be a little boring to keep maybe I wouldn't enjoy keeping it too much but I was totally wrong I've been loving him or her I think they're hermaphrodite so they're a bit of both like look at that cute face how can you not love him and he is significantly grown since I've had him just over three weeks oh he's being dead nosy now you come to see. I've had him just over three weeks and from the time that I got him he is really grown so today I thought I'm gonna give him uh, a little enclosure upgrade. He's so damn cute, he's so damn cute. He's a giant African land snail, but I'm not sure, as I'm not too knowledgeable about snails, I'm not sure which exact species, so if any of you, where are you going? If any of you are more knowledgeable than me and snail keepers yourselves, let me know in the comments what species you might think he might be. So I'm going to show you uh, my little setup I'm going to have for him. He's, all, he's getting a bit big for his old enclosure. So I'm hoping that this one will see him through for a little while at least. So all I've used in here um, is cocoa fibre for the substrate. I've got a plant pot under here, you can just see the edge of it. But I've covered it over with the cocoa fibre so that if he does climb up and maybe onto the top of the tub, then if he does fall down at all it'll be a softer landing for him um, it's pretty basic I want to put uh, I've got air holes all along the side and some in the lid from where you saw him sat on before and I'm gonna put some moss in there to keep the humidity up yay <laughs> yay for the moss I've got a bit of moss from his old enclosure that I'm gonna put in I'm going to put some fresh bits in as well, so let's pop them in there. I've really been enjoying the snail because you can leave the lid off while you're cleaning out the tank. He's not going to run anywhere. He's slow, slow moving animal. You can keep an eye on him. He's growing really well, which is really exciting to see. And I've been trying him on the few different foods to eat there's a massive range of things they can eat I've been looking up on different things that they can eat to make sure he's getting the goodness I have heard that lettuce and cucumber may not be um, high in nutrition for them but they can enjoy it all the same they need a source of calcium um, to make their shell grow nice and strong. This is the piece that he has been eating from his old enclosure. This is the soft side of it where you can see he's been eating and obviously the harder side he won't touch. So I'm going to put this piece back in for now so he can rasp on that whenever he wishes. I'm not 100% sure if they need a water dish or not. Um, there's been conflicting information that I've looked at online but I'm hoping that some of you might be able to tell me if that is needed for sure or not. I've also made a little bowl of fish flakes which have been moistened down with water and I've mixed it in to make sort of a, a paste. That can be part of their diet, I think I read once a week. So I'm going to put a bowl of that in there. There are springtails inside here as well to help clean up any poop and stuff because they do poop a lot and I'm going to dampen down all of the enclosure. 
And when I say they poop a lot, they really do poop a lot. So here he is, my little friend, who I have called Rocket. <laughs> He's damn cute. I'm going to pop him in uh, with some bits of food in a second and we can watch him eat and venture around his enclosure. Got some apple to go in. I'm going to dot it around so that he can find it in different places. So it's not just in one place, he can move around no matter where he goes. He doesn't have to look hard for it, it, it will be in food in most places of his enclosure. Some bits of mushroom as well, and some pieces of lettuce. Thought we'd just have a nice look at him, having a little slide along here, before I pop him in the enclosure. When he's really stretched out, you can tell how big he actually is. And his shell's gotten nice and big since I've had him. Just thought I'd get you a shot of this. I just flipped his new lid on top to see if he'll go down for something to eat but when he moves you can see the ripples of his foot underneath that moves him along I hope you can see that I can see it very well from where I'm sitting how the snail travels. He just keeps getting cooler and cooler. Here's my snail again. It looks like he's been drinking off the side of the enclosure, the little water droplets. See that little mouth part moving? Very interesting. See? Snails aren't boring. And the first piece of food that he ate, when he reached the bottom of the enclosure, he's gone straight for that fish flake mix. A little paste I made up for him. This is a good source of protein for them. And while we're here, you can see how nice and shiny his shell is. I hope this might give you, any of you snail experts out there, an idea of what type of species this snail is, because I do not know, unfortunately. I would really like to know, so that I know that I'm definitely getting the humidity and the temperature right. I do have. I hope you've enjoyed seeing my snail rocket today. If you have, give me a nice thumbs up. And don't forget, if you know the species of the snail, please leave it in the comments and any other comment you wish to write in as well. I always reply to everybody. Snails make me happy. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.